Hi, it's Jess here from nigessa.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. So today I am just doing sewing in the signature. Um, I uh, had this as part of making this journal and I decided that I would just put out a video that's just sewing in a signature. So I'm going to take this section out of that video and have it separate. So it is already sewn in here with a three hole pamphlet stitch and um, I will now show you how I did it. Okay, so I've been through and I've done all the stenciling and everything. And so now I've taken out a few of the tags. It's time to sew the signature into the cover. So I'm going to go through, I'm tapping it down so it's straight on the bottom. Just a quick look through to check mainly that the doily's in the right place and there's a couple of pages that are shorter like that one i want to make sure that it's gathered in two um points so i've pushed it so that it's up i could have pushed it so it was down and 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 that's the only one i need to to worry about that one as long as it's in the center point it will be fine that's my template so it will be caught in all three no problem so my template I've cut it so that it's the same height as my pages and then I just fold it in half down the middle fold it in half that way to get the center point and then I go in half again and in half again for my outside bits and I have made the holes made my template wide enough so that I can put my bulldog clips on so I'm fine I might take these center ones out as well I haven't taken all all of the um, tags out I reckon I can do it without doing that so that sits there like that and then we take the cover I've given it a good a good crease there and the holes are going to go all the way through so I'm eyeballing that to sit in there and then this is where I get my clips to clip it in place. So I clip that there and I clip one at the bottom. I really need a bigger bulldog clip. Now I've got my book binding kit out. I have got much, much bigger clips. there just go over a tad so that's them clipped I'm checking that it's not wonky donkey that. so I am gonna move it slightly because it is a bit wonky there so we'll just do a few little adjustments it is worth checking that That we are where we want to be and that we're the right way up first junk journal I ever made I sewed signature in I mean I hadn't put any pockets in and anything so it wasn't a disaster um, I had sewn it in upside down the only problem was the the paper in the um, at the front of the signature was the flowers were in the wrong orientation it wasn't a major disaster it was just an irritation really so yeah don't take your eye off the ball there we go so that is where they all want to be you can clip these if you want to i'm not going to um some people have cradles that they sit them in and um and do it that way i don't i do it by hand so i take my pokey and i go through and if you fold it slightly 
it should come out right on the crease. Okay, so this is to make sure that all your holes are in the same place. And as you can see, it's come out where I want it. Doing three hole comfort stitch. That's what I always do. Poke it through, as you can see, come out on the crease. And so that is the only the only important thing to remember is for your book to be slightly closed when you poke through to make sure you get it in the right place. First time I did it, I did it flat down and that that does not work. OK. And then what I carefully do is remove my template. But I still want to keep the bulldog clip on so that it's in the right place because I'm going to start sewing now and I'm going to keep it in the right place just as I'm starting off. OK, so that is that is that. This now goes in here. I've got lots and lots of templates for different sized journals so that they're easy to find don't have to make new ones every single time and now we need our thread so i got some black wax thread and the rule of thumb is three times the height of your journal and then i just do a little bit for luck and uh, that's that's how that's done if you want the ties on the outside, you start on the outside. If you want ties on the inside, you start on the inside. I'm going to start on the inside and just go in the middle and it will come out the hole quite nicely. And then in the top or the bottom, it matters not. And it should. This is where you might find it not not going quite so smoothly you want to make sure you don't make a new hole but you're going through the hole that's there that that slipped in nicely pull it through and then this is where there is two different ways some people now go up to the top there and then back out through the middle but I like to go back into the middle. So you want to make sure that because it was the first one that I ever watched that did it this way. So you want to go back in the middle, make sure you don't split the thread, that you are actually going the other side of the thread. I find if I pull it, that works. Pull it through and you can give a good tug at this point now to make sure it's quite tight and then we'll go in through the top there straight in nicely does it again give it a good tug we've got you can sort of see if you've got nice tight ones there, you can adjust. The wax kind of grips a bit and makes it easier. So now you pass your needle underneath that thread there. Oh, but not the thread on your sewing. <coughs> there we go. And then you want to have your threads either side, so I'm actually going to poke that through there. You'll be able to see if your threads are two sides of this middle bit. And this is where you can take your needle off now, so you don't stab yourself. And give it a good, you can take these off now. And you can check if it's tight enough. 
I'll give it a good pull and then I do a double knot to hold it in place. It's as simple as that. And now you can tie bow on there. You can add dangles if you want them to dangle down. I would double bow so you don't pull this open. There we go. And that is that is the journal there. And then what I usually do is I usually go through and I just give it a bit of a bit of a push down. And that's all our pages now in nicely. Still got the tags to finish, but that is everything caught in nicely that's been caught in twice because if i'd have put it in the middle it would have missed the two outside and it's much more secure if it's in two places so that is simply how the journal is done a few little practices of sewing in sig signatures and it's no it's no longer a a worry you get you get used to it and it becomes second nature and it becomes easy peasy lemon squeezy to do simple as that nice and straight so that's it all done uh, so I will link down below to the video of the making of this journal I did the cover separately and then everything else I did in one long video. Okay, thanks for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and um, I'll see you again very soon. Do check out the other videos. Thank you.